wait, is Freddy going to go into the jungle? I would only assume that he does. And Team Liquid PH finish off their composition with a Fanny yeah. for Carl TZ. What an interesting change of pace for Falcon's AP Bread. Oh, they smell, they sniff the Fanny pick, and they Let's instead... See. It's going to be their moment here. Championship point. I mean, you saw the audience. They want Falcon's AP Bread to wake up as we go into our very fifth game of today in this best of seven series. The score is two to two with FCAP on blue side up against TLPH on the red. Let's see, call TZ on this fanny. He rocked the link earlier, but it wasn't really fruitful. So let's see here, will he be able to find a win with this fanny? Well, here's the thing, right? With Falcon AP Bren changing up the draft like what we're seeing here today, Yes, it's going to be a bit of a struggle to actually take control over the mid lane, but when you have Frederick kind of rotating and putting pressure towards their TLPH are forced to move in backwards, because right now the only winning lane that they have is going to be Flap TZ up against Samford with this export against the Terizla. Yeah, I mean, let's see here with the early game, there are already a potential setup in the top side. Super Marco still holding on towards that Purify, Carl TZ. Well, not jump in and dive. Oh, there's a mobilized onto a JP. Might be Stun. Oh, Gwen. Oh, that's a well-timed flicker by JP. Yeah, nicely done. JP's not going to have his flicker for the upcoming fight, but it doesn't matter as long as he's not giving away that first blood. Falcon and Brand are very dangerous, especially when you have Ogwen on one of his signature picks in this Arlet. So Carl, even Carl has to be quite careful here, unless oh, you are seeing few in Ogwen. Uh, going to rotate up to the top side of the map, and I mean, since Carl saw it, he's telling Benny QT, hey, just chill. Oh, it's a 3v1 though. Benny QT now with that information. Will they play around? Will Liquid play around in the bottom side of the map? Oh, it's still going to be just the gold leaners in the top side. And though Carl TZ, yeah, he takes zero time to take the turtle. Yeah, and we see that Sanford and Sanji are going to be walking together after hitting level 4. Let's see if they're going to land a comp. Oh, it looks like they're going to give this. No time, no time. There was no time for the side of Carl TZ. He opted to go and secure the jungle. So still here, no kills for the first two minutes. Yep. And look at Falcon's AP friend. Because Carl TZ didn't show himself on the map, you see that Ogwen is covering that purple buff just in case, uh, just in case if Team Liquid decides to go for an invade. It's past the two minutes and the debuff is gone, but really we're not seeing much difference here between either gold laners and even for the mid lane, it's just been a sandbag fight. Just clear the waves and then rotate towards the opposite side of the map. Mm -hmm. And with that, both teams, they are aware, oh, this might be a setup here. JP and Sanji in the mid, Flap TZ, Ogwen, Kyle and Fuel. They uh, smell blood, but TLPH, they smell, they sniff, they are aware, they back off. Uh, and now the mid trio, it's really important. Whoever JP finds with the Divine Judgment needs to die. Yeah. That that value, right? That value needs to be extracted by the side of TLPH. Well, space, a lot of space for the gold laners here. They're just chilling. They're just farming the minions. And Carl, and as well as Kyle, though, of course, Carl has that slight edge, supposedly, with the faster rotations, faster um, mobility as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of resources dedicated towards the top side of the map, right? Wait, oh, oh that's a miss from JP. Flicker again wasted. That's another info for the side of Falcon's AP Bren. Yeah, I mean, TLPH hasn't been able to get any momentum in this game thus far. And I mean, you can, I can understand it. I mean, it's an assassin versus utility, uh, utility jungler difference. Utility junglers, when they are ahead, they just choke out these assassins by stealing all their farm and being too bulky for the assassins to deal with, while if the assassins get ahead, they basically have too much damage and oh. basically bypass the front line in the first place. And we can see here, perhaps a few versus Carl in the bot side, but Carl TZ, even though, even though he has secured a Heptasis, he does not want to fight, considering that Turtle is in the top side of the map. Good delay. And Falcon TP Bren Team Liquid, once again, they're taking this turtle rather slow. Yeah, I mean, Julian cannot rotate fast enough to be a yeah. part of that fight. And TLPH, they're looking for some valuable targets. Flap TZ, low in the priority. With that Faraga armor, he gets free iframes to get out of the fight. But maybe with Kyle, this could be the moment that they've been waiting for. And Carl is bot side. Fab Gap, they have information that they will commit on towards this turtle without any contest. So that's the second neutral objective here taken by FCAP. Mm, OK. 
Okay, don't want to pull the trigger just yet. Maybe they're scared they don't have enough damage. I mean, they don't mind scaling as well, because Benny QT, as long as he has a steady flow of income, it's not that big of a deal. But these camps on the outer side, wait, hold on. Final flash on towards JP. He is in trouble. He has no flicker just yet, though. This might be a die, but F gap. They smell trouble and they back away. Still, again, five minutes in, no kills. Falco and Sapi Brenna playing this extremely well. Like, even Ogwen, he's just going from bush to bush because if he does spot out JP, he's at risk of dying, right? So, the only person who can do it comfortably is Flap Teasy, especially around these neutral objectives. Wait, hold on. Purple buff. They will contest this one. Kyle Teasy looking for an angle, does not get it, and that's. Carl TZ taking the purple. Oh, Team Liquid, they want to engage Flap TZ and just hiding away with the skills. And they, again, they see no angle. They will not have a fight. Top lane, though, different story. Benny flickers out in time. SOD will not be committed. Oh, good, good way to escape. But they will have to sacrifice their turret top lane. Yeah, I mean, again, some really great motions. I mean, great micro coming in from Benny as we finally see first blood from Carl Teasy against Few underneath the tier one. That was like, what, volume three? I believe they were. <laughs> uh, the, both of them were bottom side of the map, what, three times already off camera kill slightly there. But yeah, Carl Teasy solo killing Few the bottom side of the map. I have to admit, Falcon and Brand are playing this really, really well. It's sad that Few had to give away first blood, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, right? Because Carl TC isn't accelerating as much as he wants to. Oh. There's a taunt on towards Sanford here. Oh, final slash as well. Now in no man's land with the flicker though. Sanford clutch. He escapes and that is it. F cap failing to find the equalizer. Yep, just in the nick of time as well. We haven't seen JP use that ult just yet. We've been waiting for him to actually initiate these play, but Falcon and Brand are just zoning him out, right? Utilizing Flap TZ to open up the map. Ogwin waiting for the right moment, especially until he gets that Thunderbelt before he gets uh, a little bit more proactive. But it looks like Ogwin opted to go for the Oracle. He wants to make sure that even if he gets hit by the Divine Judgment, he might be able to get his final slash out before he dies. I mean, I gotta say, right, Falcon and Brand they're playing this early, almost mid, very well. Because, again, going up against Assassin, it seems like they have more say in the neutral objective. They're translating into more wins as well. And now, perhaps they want to commit a final slash connecting on towards the Terizla. But the Divine Judgment on towards Super Marker was huge, blazing duet defensively. And again, no casualties from that clash. Huh? Where was Carl Teasy? Oh, he was trying to steal the orange buff in the meantime. Wait, they don't know he's here. Uh oh, let's see. They have no idea. It's attacking Ooh. units, though. It's attacking units. He can steal this and then get away. Okay, let's see. Call TZ. Wait, retribution. Ooh, Ooh there ah. you go. Ah. Cheeky call TZ. Daylight robbery, Grand Theft Orange, as we see. Oh. Okay. Oh, Gwen misses out on that range for that final slash, but again, it's a okay. A thousand gold lead still quite comfortable here for FCAP to have a foundation entering the mid game. Now let's have a look at the items here. Uh, two items complete for, wow, actually quite a significant lead on Flap TZ in a matter of fact, right? Even when we're looking at the items from Sanford, he has not completed a single one. He is oh. down 1.67K. And that's not, I mean, it should be expected because x is the winning matchup in this case. But at the same time, I think that's why TLPH has been a little hesitant to get in on these fights. Yeah, I think uh, he just secured the dominance. Eyes, oh my God, the damage. Benny QT miscalculated the damage and Pew finds a solo now. They will contest again. Purple buff will fall still to Carl TZ, but what a solo. Yep, and now, I mean, Carl, he wants some revenge. Yeah, they will get it though. Carl TZ, what a timing alongside Terizla as well, but they have compensation. They have more control in the Lord and JP Sanford Sanji. Yeah, I don't think they can find an angle though. Let's see if they say otherwise, no. Carl Teasy, Carl Teasy will have the first Lord in this game. Yeah, I think they're waiting until the mid game to actually have some relevant damage. Oh, look at Sam getting melted. Oh my God, yeah. Well, again, all things considered, Falcons, AP Bren, they have survived that early. They lead in the mid and, okay, Sanji has the Divine Glaive, so that is peel and also penetration for Team Liquid coming, defending the Lord. Okay, all right. 
can we see JP find an ideal target to Divine Judgment and pair it up with Sanji, right? Yeah. Because every time they get the mid-trio together, Falcon's AP Brim play around it every single time. So the only way to catch him off guard is to send Carl TZ to some other side of the map to give false hope to Falcon's AP Brim to maybe disrespect the space. Ooh. Let's see though, right? I mean, they are taking more space of course, with this First Lord, a tier two top lane will not be defended. As even the jungles, man, the resources from inside of Team Liquid will be taken out by FCAP. And Team Liquid, no play yet. Oh. Almost. I mean, the idea was there. They're yeah. gonna chunk out, chunk out few, and as soon as he gets back to the base, gets hit by the SOD and instantly dies before he gets the full <laughs> fountain health. Very smart idea for the side of CLPH, but a very good read coming in from few. Yeah, let's see here. With the four and a half thousand gold lead, Falcons AP Bren, they are just so comfortable now that they're in the mid game, right? I mean, Claude here already with the almost three items. He opted for the win of nature though. Yeah, and I, th I think it's a good choice, right? Because whether or not he has the Trinity, it all depends on how far ahead Carl Teasy, because he still is technically going to get one shot by that Cutthroat uh, if he has two two items, maybe three yeah. items to guarantee it. But, oh, oh, Kyle, walk up just a wee bit further. Just a wee bit further. Yeah, I mean, JP has to flicker Divine Judgment here ready, but he will not pull the trigger just yet here. They do not. He does not want to waste such a good resource. Meanwhile, Carl Teasy is also doing a cross-map play even though they sacrificed the inner, basically. Yeah, I mean, they've been dragging out this game for quite some time here. And I, again, we've only seen like one Divine Judgment actually yeah. come out from this game. Yeah, and it was it was on towards, I think, a member like Ogwin, right? It wasn't really like on towards the Super Marco or on towards the Fuel. So let's see here, what can JP do with and give the impact towards the mid game, especially now, Falcons AP Bren, they are still very much in control. They want to contest their purple buff again. Oh, the conceal has been popped. They have a flank angle with Carl TZ, but see, yeah. Are they going to initiate off of this? No, they just walk away from this, right? TLPH, they're just waiting for a positional mistake coming in for Falcons AP Bren when they go on autopilot mode. A very low kill count game here, ladies and gentlemen, out of all the five series. This is lowest. 12 minutes in, only total three kill points. And Team Liquid, they're playing it rather slow. Why? Because they're waiting for Benny to be online. Oh, the one shot! Caught him red handed. And yeah, Call CZ will be taken out. Unfortunate. The chains, not even enhanced chains. Oh. It was just the regular chains. And I mean, now that the change is onto Fanny, if you get CC'd, that steel cable is not going to pull you through no longer. Yeah, that's a costly kill for the side of Team Liquid. Falcon AP Bren, they will snowball from this with the Lord, enhanced one as well. So expect more structures here to fall. It's going to push into the late game, right? There's still plenty of high ground defense coming out from Team Liquid. And even Ogwin, right? Using that conceal aggressively just to kind of keep Team Liquid underneath their inhibitors is the most ideal scenario because Lord hasn't even spawned until now. Mm, it's going to be a little tough, though, for Carl TZ on this defense, right? Because you're a Vanny, you want to split push or you want to assassinate now. You're kind of just awkward there in the base waiting for an opening, waiting for Vision as well, especially he's not, he doesn't have the purple. Yeah, and Falcon's AP Brand make the read, right? They know that he's not going to show up on that Lord lane. They're hoping that he overextends now by bot side. Mm, let's see here with the Lord. They start top lane will fall and that will be all here from the side of FCAP, surely. Perhaps they want to pull the trigger on towards a fight. They want the mid. Lord taken care of. Will they pull the trigger is the question. Oh, it's still played by JP. It doesn't seem like they have that opening. Uh, they don't want to They don't want to risk it just yet, right? Because the counter engage is also very deadly from the side of Falcon JP Brent. If you see JP flicker forward, then you're expecting the final slash from Owen to pull him back. Uh -huh. And I think that's what T YTLPH are very hesitant on a lot of these moves. They sacrifice an inhibitor turret just because of that. And they're waiting for Sanji to get to a point where he can just one shot his targets without needing the setup from JP or even from Samford. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's a pity though, right? I mean, yeah. With the Kajo, let's see here, they want the mid. Uh, FCAP, 
Do they have enough fire firepower? The answer is no. Team Liquid will be able to clear that wave. But yeah, it's kind of a shame, right? You used, uh, you drafted a Kaja, but the angle, the opening isn't really direct. So when Kaja is such an honest hero, it's a direct hero. And yeah, we have yet to see an impactful Divine Judgment. Yeah, and uh, with that slow growing 7k lead from the side of Falcon's AP Bread, they've got one more opportunity to try and crack open this base from the side of TLPH on this next floor, which is coming up in about 40 seconds, right? So I think that TLPH, until we see Benny QT actually finish off that Winds of Nature, they mm. probably don't want to fight just yet. Samford, he's just going to be one giant block of health. He's just going to tank as much as he can. Carl Tizi can look for the back line, but even he, uh, he himself respects the raw damage from Super Marco because he's been supercharged, right? The difference between Super Marco and Betty QT in terms of gold is 4,000 gold. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. And Danny, though, now that he has the win of nature, expect Team Liquid to not just turtle in the base. Maybe, maybe even gamble taking the 50 50 wall, 70 30 for Falcon CP Bren on this Lord. But doesn't seem like there are motions in the side of Team Liquid. They want to leave this for them? I guess they I yeah. guess they should, right? Because if they walk up too far, then there's not enough places to run. It's not like they have a lead as well. Once they hit the 42k mark, then it become, it slowly starts to stabilize. But with this Lord push, they've almost guaranteed at least one more inhibitor turret. Let's see, with this Lord, Team Liquid again conceding the neutral objective. Zero! <laughs> yeah, Carl TZ without the purple, has been just going crazy with the cables on his base. Yeah, I mean, he's underneath the fountain. He's just bored as heck. He's just waiting for Falcon's AP Brent to start pushing in, and then the high ground defense uh, actually is initiated. Now let's see it here. Baser in the bottom side. Oh, he catches Sanford. Taunted as well, figures out, though. Team Liquid will restabilize in their base. Lord marching top side, and Team Liquid has cleared the mid. So let's see here with the clear. FCAP, can they crack that mid open? Ogwen has the flicker, has not committed just yet though, waiting for the right timing. The base turret will be the main priority. Now, base turret all cracked, top, late, and mid. Now they have to take care of the Lord. FCAP, can they defend this? Here comes the conceal. Maybe still looking for angles, but Flap is not making it easy. Yeah, the base now quite wide, but Phil finds the burst damage as well. And now, Waze again, it's just so vulnerable. It's Call TZ is down as well as Benny. FCAP, they have match points. Nicely done by Ogwin. Really nicely done. Sees the win condition, knows that Sanji is supposed to be the main damage combo component for uh, TLPH. Flickers in, final slashes, and a clean execute for the side of Falcons 